All right, I have glued everything down, the uh, six circles. I got a little schmutz on there. I'm really sorry I did because I can't really erase it off, that glue stick. So um, what had happened is an edge came up, and so I, I brought my magazine over and glued it, but I got a little bit there. So don't do what I did. Do a better job. Um, so I got everything glued down and now I'm going to put at the top, it's going to be elements of design. I'm not there yet because that's, that's going to be really fun to do, but I want to get everything else in place. Uh, so I have my layout and then what I did was on the bottom of the page, I actually had some room. I don't like that that's all showing through. So what I did was I practiced different typefaces. So I did the lowercase. I did the cursive. Oh, I was not good at the cursive. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. And then I did elements and obviously all the letters didn't fit, which made me think, uh, I don't want to have to worry about spacing so much, but you could do whatever you'd like. I'm going to do the lowercase. So remember that little handy dandy strip? Well, one side of it, I mean, both sides are straight. They may not be even. But what you're going to do is you're going to want to draw on a straight line. You put that wherever you want. Like you might have it coming up the side or something like that. That is a, you know, you're the designer on this. So you do what you think is right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on the fold line. And then I'm very lightly going to draw myself a line so that I can do a good job with my lettering. Now I wrote. Don't know whether you can see that. I wrote space, and then I realized, well, space shouldn't have been my first word that I drew out. What should have been the first word I drew out? I'm gonna say it should be texture, because texture has the most letters in it. So when I fit texture in here, that's the size lettering I'm going to put everywhere else except for my elements and principles. Okay, so really carefully. Oh, where do I want to start too? Sometimes I start at the end, but I'm afraid I'll run out of room. So T-E-X-T-U-R-E, -E, this T is my center letter. Okay, and then I'm going to do the U. I'm going to think of my second grade teacher who uh, really made us practice writing our handwriting. I think I, I'm off a little bit, but we're going to do our best. And I'm just penciling it in. And what's really nice about penciling it in is, oh, I got it off a little. Well, duh, erase it and make it look better. But then what I have is I have texture there. And hey, my space is about the same size. Love it. And then <clears throat> what I'm going to put below it is I'm going to go, um, and I'm going to give you guys this information. I'm going to give you a couple of bullet points that you can put underneath there to help describe texture for you. Texture is kind of like a pattern, um, and texture creates a depth. All right. Space, I would say positive and negative. Uh, line is connecting two parts or but you look at here I've got red lines here and I've got lines with the arms and the shadow Ooh, fancy okay so I will give you that information to put in there and then after you've got all your letters in there you can go back and make these a color or use your sharpie here's the deal though I know that when I do this sharpie And I will not trace all the letters because I know you guys don't want to sit here. Although I'm feeling pretty good about my handwriting today. So I've started, um, it bleeds all the way through. So what's going to happen with the design on my back, the back? I'm going to put my images over top of here and I'm going to make sure that my text is on those circles pretty fancy okay so get the first side done get it all filled in be very neat 
and very careful to keep it clean. I'm pretty happy with that. When this dries, I can grab a white eraser. Don't grab a pink eraser and I can erase it. Why a pink? Pink erasers leave a little smudge. White erasers don't. Okay, and I've got my texture there. All right, hmm. It's looking a little bland. So I'm gonna think about what to do in the background. Maybe a line or something to, do I wanna do an outline? No, that's gonna, I'm not gonna be a right, I'm not gonna be able to be regular with that. Maybe, well, I guess I'm doing it, huh? Because I did this already. Okay, and then I'm going to continue it up and, and figure out how to get that looking pretty groovy around the whole page. This is why you do thumbnails, because now I'm not sure I like that, but I'm stuck. So I'm going to figure this out, and I'm going to make it, I'm hopefully going to make a connection between all of my uh, elements using that wavy line. I just needed a little bit of contrast and I thought that would do it. I'm not committed to it, but um, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna make it work, okay? So, thumbnails, cut everything out carefully using scissors or a ruler arranging everything and then gluing it down use a magazine or something as your palette for the glue practice your lettering do your lettering in pencil and then go over it if you don't want it to bleed I just realized this I'm sorry I didn't say this if you don't want it to bleed just use colored pencils that could be that could look really cool Okay, so this is our first design. Knock it out of the park and show me the designer you are. Thanks.